Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can adjust print layout, print preview, add headers and footers to your document. So at the moment, I've got a document sitting on the screen and if I go up to the, the view tab, you've got print preview there, I click on that and you can see this document is fitting on one page. There are no headers and footers. So first of all, if I go to format page, this is what I've set up there. So basically on the, th these tabs there, you've got organizer page. So I've put this to landscape so you get more of the page there. I've not put any borders or backgrounds on it, but the, the header and footer I'm gonna do in a second. And then um, sheet, this is what I've done here. Look, so I've set this so this fits on a number of sheets. So initially it was two pages. So I've selected this and left it on one page. So now this whole thing is fitting nice and neatly on one page. And if you notice sitting in the middle as well, if I go back to page, what I've ticked is a table alignment, horizontal and vertical. So it's gonna sit nice and neatly in the middle like that. So that's all the things I've done in there. Now headers and footers, this isn't where you actually add the header and footer. This is just giving you the position of them. If I click OK to this, everything stays the same. But if I go up to the top and select header and footer, I get a different box tipping up and you've got header and footer. Now, if I just come get rid of the stuff that's in here, just delete these things off and put them back in there again. So left area, I'm just going to type my name, Steve. In the center area, I'm going to use these little tools down here. So you've got this one, it's the sheet name. Now I haven't named this sheet anything, so it's just gonna say sheet one. You've then got the page, normally go in the footer, page of pages, but this one, date, put the date up there, do a little space and then the time, date and time. And then the right area, you've got other options that you can select to go in there. So sheet name, no. If I go to this option, you've got title, file name, File and path is sometimes what people want. So this isn't saved, so it's not giving me anything. It's just saying untitled, but that's okay. If I drop the arrow down there, you've got some other options that you can select from this list. If I come off that, I don't want any of those. If I go into the footer, at the moment it's got page one, and then I can go of, and then this option here is pages, page one of whatever pages it is. And then again, in this case, I've got this sitting on one page, so that's just saying page one of one. If I click okay to that, that should put that stuff in there for me. I'll just close print preview and then just go back to print preview again. View print preview. Now I can't see the header and footer at the moment that I've created because I need to go into format page and make sure that this is ticked. Same as content on first page because it is not ticked by default. If I click OK to that. That header and footer that I've just created will appear at the top for the header and the footer will be at the bottom. Well, it will be when I tick it on. So if I go back into format page, same thing for the footer, tick that on, okay. And then that should come up. So that's the header and that's the footer. Now to come out of this to close print preview, click on close print preview and that's that done. Now. If you go to the layout tab, you've got some other options. You've got like print area. So if you don't want to print the whole thing off, if I just highlight, say that area and select print area. So I've selected print area. So now if I go back to the view and print preview, that is the only thing that's sitting and it's sitting in the middle because of what I did when I selected format page. If I go back into that, go back onto the page tab it's because I've ticked these two so that's why this 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 little bit of data that I've just selected is sitting in the middle which looks nice better click OK to that and then if you want to close print preview and then clear that off what you have to do is just go back into layout click on edit and then that's what I've got there. And if I drop this little arrow down and then select entire sheet, which is the default, 
well none is the default but that's what I want click OK to that then go back to view print preview and then we get everything back again close that down and that's okay now if I do control and P that's the key command for print you want to print it off I've got no printers installed here but you get a bit of a an idea of what you can do with term, in terms of printing if I scroll down a little bit there you've got some more information about stuff that you can do in terms of printing this document off and there's your little preview on the left there that would also have been the same if I just did control P when I had print area selected it would just show that little bit there but that's all I want to talk about in this little video I'm just going to cancel that off so it's talk all, all about printing print layouts setting up headers and footers and setting a print area so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time i'll catch you on the next one